Summer is almost here, and I do not want to get bored. And I'm sure none of you do either. But luckily, I have a solution to this, Chuck E. Cheese. And luckily enough, that's what today's show is all about. CVTV starts now. You are tuned into CVTV. But before we get started with today's show, let's go over the announcements. Make sure to wear a zip up or button up jacket and no pullover hoodies unless it's LHMS. And remember, no holes or tears in your jeans. Make sure to be wearing your IDs. And if you lose it, you have to pay $5 for a new one. Though we forget sometimes, COVID is still a thing. So make sure you're regularly washing and sanitizing your hands. Man, all this talking is making me hungry. Today's lunch is chicken with Parmesan and spaghetti. And tomorrow's lunch is pizza with corn on the cob. Remember the core expectations, respectful, responsible, active learner, and problem solver. Follow CVTV on Instagram at official CVTV news to support CVTV. The history fact of the day is that the Titanic's owner never said the ship was unsinkable. Now that the announcements are out of the way, let's go to Max, who knows the origin of Chuck E. Cheese. Here in Florida, we have places like Dave & Buster's, Family Fun Center, and Chuck E. Cheese, but not many people know how it all started. Chuck E. Cheese was the first place of its kind to have a carnival feeling, and it gave a place for family and friends to have fun. Many people have been to, or at least heard, of Chuck E. Cheese, but not many people know exactly when it started. The first Chuck E. Cheese Pizza Time Theater opened in 1977 in San Jose, California. That's around 40 years ago. The owners of Chuck E. Cheese are Showbiz Pizza Place, Atari Inc., and CEC Entertainment Inc. Well, I'm gonna go look more into Chuck E. Cheese. I'm Max, reporting for CVTV. Thanks, Max. But before we can go to Lauren, we have a few more things to cover. The math tip of the day is PEMDAS. P for parentheses, E for exponents, M for multiplication, D for division, A for addition, and S for subtraction. Now, let's go to Lauren to hear what some of you cougars have to say about Chuck E. Cheese. Since Chuck E. Cheese was established so long ago, let's go to you cougars to find out when you think Chuck E. Cheese was created. And I think Chuck E. Cheese was invented in 1952. I think Chuck E. Cheese was made in 1969. I think Chuck E. Cheese was made in 1977. And I think Chuck E. Cheese was invented in 1834. I think Chuck E. Cheese was made in 1977. I think Chuck E. Cheese was invented in 1789. I think Chuck E. Cheese was first founded in the 2000s. I think Chuck E. Cheese was established in July 9, 1983. I think Chuck E. Cheese was established in 1892. I think Chuck E. Cheese was established in 1907. I think Chuck E. Cheese was established in 1999. I think Chuck E. Cheese was first established in 1982. Those are some really good guesses, Cougars. But the answer is it was established in 1977. But sadly, that's all the time I have for you today. Remember, I'm Lauren reporting for CVTV. Thanks, Lauren. Now let's head over to Ashley, who has a couple of ideas on what to do at Chuck E. Cheese. From video games to bowling, Chuck E. Cheese has it all. Popular for its wide range of activities and fun, Chuck E. Cheese is one of the most popular arcade and entertainment spots. Chuck E. Cheese is known for keeping people entertained and engaged. Being a well-known party spot, it's bound to have some activities, so let's go over them. One of the main attractions at Chuck E. Cheese is of course its arcade. Not only does it have console games, but it also has high-tech video and touchscreen games as well. If you ever get tired of the arcade games, they allow some activities that allow you to get a little physical too, such as hockey, bowling, and foosball. If there's one thing Chuck E. Cheese is known for, it's their pizza. They're considered a pizza arcade spot, serving pizza along with some other foods, of course. I can see why so many kids have their birthday parties there now. Maybe I'll book mine there this year. Well, that's all the time I have for you today. I'm Ashley reporting for CVTV. Thanks, Ashley. I had no clue Chuck E. Cheese had that many things to do. But speaking of Chuck E. Cheese, I'm gonna go there now. I'm Josiah, signing off of CVTV.